Tilt Holdings, TLLTF stock. It's a stock I've looked at before. It's a company that I put forward a forward projection, but I looked at it from, say, 1824, maybe 30 months out. And I used a forward PE. But now I'm looking at them a little differently. I'm using a DCF, Discounted Cash Flow Calculator. And basically, this is a model. And if we look at all the stocks throughout all, you know, thousands of stocks on the stock market, and we apply this model the same, what we do is we find where some stocks are undervalued or overvalued based on these models. That could signal potential. When it comes to tilt, when we look at the basic numbers, where they are now, what they're going to print just this year, about 255 million moving forward, in the next five years, they're going to print some pretty solid revenue. Along the way, their margins are going to improve. However, when we look at the models that I'm employing here, and we look at the current stock price, it's a little baffling that this stock is so low. And one of the reasons is simply this. Boy, are there legion who, who love to tout this stock. Just go to Twitter anytime. And I don't say that is a bad thing. There are people who firmly believe in this company. It's a solid company. They're going to get there. But you get a lot of guys out there who are really pounding this stock saying, listen, tilt, tilt, tilt. How's the weather today? Tilt. I hear the weather in Parker, Colorado is wonderful right about now. Nonetheless, that legion on Twitter, wherever else they may be, is a very valuable asset. Think this through for a second. Congress is expected to go on vacation right around on the 5th or 6th of August. And we have been promised that the Senate is going to drop its version of cannabis federal legalization. Merely dropping should send shockwaves. And short sellers are going to start scrambling. That will move markets. But now look and think for a second, the broader market. Your name's Kyle. Your girlfriend's name is Karen. Kyle, you just lost your butt in crypto. You lost your butt in stocks. So now all of a sudden, cannabis stocks are starting to get a heartbeat, a big heartbeat. Things are popping, short sellers are running for the door, and those individuals who just got their butts handed to them in crypto and stocks are desperately looking for any way possible to get in. These guys don't have any clue outside of the phrase cannabis stocks to search for something. So you got this legion cohorts, followers, shareholders, who will gladly tip their hand. Maybe they'll even show them this video. Because currently the stock price is about 17 cents. And that's baffling to me. Because this is a solid company. It is a growth stock. All stocks are growth stocks. Some grow negatively. All stocks are value stocks. Some have negative value. But this is a company that's going to produce revenue. A lot of it. And when you look at the share price and you look at the valuations from that, there's upside potential here. And yet the stock price is so low. So as we get closer and closer to August, take a look at the potential. Because once the Senate finally drops that version, which they will drop that version. What happens beyond that, we'll find out. But that will send ripple effects. And people are going to want to find out what cannabis stocks can I invest in. And there's a couple guys out there who will gladly tell them, tilt all day long. And the truth is, there's value here. Let's take a look at some numbers. All right, before we begin... I just launched three video courses. You'll want to check them out. How to pick winning stocks. All about value investing, economics, things like this, but you don't need a PhD. So if you're trying to jump your game up a little bit on how to learn how to look at these kinds of things, that video course is for you. Let's take a look at 
a really ugly drop in revenue. Every CEO has any kind of reason, rational as to why things slow down. Fact is, um, GDP growth for the first quarter was lower. And this is the first quarter for Tilt Holdings. We are starting a recession. Inflation is very high. Interest rates are going up. This is the environment that we're investing in. The overall U.S. economic environment. At the same time, the process of these companies getting to the big boards, moving up to NASDAQ and NYSE, it's a process. And one of the key things for that process is some form of federal legalization. When that happens, who knows? Uh, again, we are expecting that Schumer drops his bill, which we, I'm dead certain something's going to hit the Senate floor. What happens after that? I don't, we'll find out. But we know that Schumer's been reaching across the aisle, asking for input. And we probably have enough votes from Republicans who are just going to cross their arms and make sure that the filibuster doesn't stop this bill. That's all we really care about. 38 states are legal cannabis in some form or another. So this is part of that process. So we're looking at the United States already being in a recession, and we'll find out in July what Q2 looked like. Many cannabis stocks took a hit Q1. On a uh, percentage basis, I'm going to say Tilt Holdings took a really big hit comparatively. I didn't really look at the numbers and compare it from one company to the other, but this one's bad. But moving forward, we should continue to see growth. They're looking for about $255 million for this year. Already, they're behind the eight ball, but not by that much. So we have three quarters and a whole lot of activity that's going to happen. So we're going to be looking at that moving forward. Gross margins. They need to achieve economies of scale, which if you listen to the most recent um, investor presentation from the financial release, that's exactly what the CEO talked about is bringing things up to scale. As these new dispensaries open up and they're able to sell to more and more people, the cost to run their processing and their growth facilities declines on a per unit basis because more units are going through. These companies need to continue to scale up. We're approaching investing in cannabis stocks at an early stage, not the earliest stage, the planning stage, but these are very early stages. And when you look at where this particular stock is with its future potential, there's some things here. And just for the record, Tilt Holdings is not one of my favorite stocks, but it's a solid company that will get there. Operating efficiencies. These guys are actually hitting it here. All right, so operating efficiencies is total operating costs, sales, general, administrative, over revenue. How much on a relative basis for sales, general, administrative versus revenue? Most of the best cannabis companies are coming in roughly 30 to 35%, but these are early stages. The goal the S&P 500 is hitting about 17.5%. So these guys will need to double their revenue in order and keep, keep operating costs flatline. If you want to make a few omelets, you got to crack a couple eggs, their operating costs will go higher as these guys open more facilities um, and more sales, things like that. But some costs are not going to go up any higher the CEO salary is going to remain exactly the same. Given that, these guys are close. Had they not dropped in revenue so much, this would have been probably sub 30%. Then as they continue to move forward, you're going to see that progress that you need to see. These guys are going to hit it. They're, they're showing that they're cost conscious on the uh, operational side. And that's, that's solid. 
EBITDA to revenue. Now, when I put my projections together, I started out at roughly 20%, which is below the average of the S&P 500 and slightly above where these guys are currently. But we're looking at 255 being printed this year and its future. I think their guidance they gave us was higher than that. But their first quarter was really ugly. So I started out at 20. I pushed them to 30 over the course of the next five years. I did it very gradually. These guys could kick butt. I kept it fairly gradually, and I will continue to update this analysis and stock price projection for tilt holdings uh, moving forward. Cash on hand, they're not exactly sitting on mountains of cash, uh, especially on a per debt ratio, uh, ratio, but they don't exactly have a ton of debt either. They've got some total equity. Um, I would want to see them sitting on a lot more cash, but they're going to get there. Total equity, again, as I mentioned, they've got plenty. They are not going to have any ac uh, issues with access to capital. Unfortunately, however, this is declining. I like my companies where total equity continues to increase. The reason is simple. This is the future revenue. When you have total equity that is continually climbing, assets over liabilities, that gives a business the ability to generate more and more revenue. And this is, along with cash on hand, this is something that kind of stuck out to me. I was like, eh, wouldn't mind seeing some better numbers. Here's your projections, 255 for this year, 315 for the following year. I took that pace and projected out three more years, 390, 475, 550. I softened it towards the end. Again, I could be too soft. I'll update these on a probably a six month basis. So keep them abreast. Something I want to point out right here, 30, enterprise value, EBITDA. This is sort of a popularity contest metric. 30 is pretty low, considering a couple things. Number one, these guys are going to grow pretty well, uh, roughly 25% growth rate annually. But we go back to that legion. All those people on Twitter who are constantly hammering, tilt, tilt, tilt. They could easily assist the popularity of this stock it's going to become a vicious feedback loop Schumer drops something during an, an economic environment where we're likely already in a in, uh, recession stock market is really kind of dead people are looking around where can I invest where can I invest and all of a sudden cannabis starts stocks start making the rounds start hitting social media people start lighting up people start getting curious because they're going to want those returns they just lost individuals on social media are going to start talking about tilt 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 that's going to feed upon itself and the truth is there's value there it's unrealized so i think i'm pretty soft on this 30. You push it to 40, you're looking at 750, 850, somewhere in there. You push it to 50, it's not a long shot deal. You push it to 50, this stock's clearing 10, 1250. It's kind of a popularity contest metric. And if this stock gets really popular, my numbers I have right here are going to get blown out. Market valuation, uh, market cap of 56 million. That's just jaw dropping to me. It should easily be an order of magnitude bigger. Here are some of the numbers that I uh, created based upon the future projections. You can do a quick screenshot. All this is up on my website. You want to check out the article accompanying this where I break things down a little more. Um, follow along on that. And finally, 524 is your intrinsic value, almost 3,000% upside from this position. All cannabis stocks have been beaten down. This one, a little more 
than average. I've got a lot of companies where their stock price is about is triple digit undervalued, 500%, 300%, 700%. I got a few stocks between 1,000 and 2,000. These guys are pushing 3,000. It's not the worst, but there's a lot of upside here. Here we can see basically just a dwindling stock. Not a lot of interest. February, of course, everything shot up um, right after the 20 the january election for georgia's senate if you'll recall that everything shot up tilt really didn't participate on a percentage basis as much as the other stocks but i think that will likely change going into august when things start moving because a lot more people are going to get involved in this because they're sitting around only dreaming of their stocks heading back higher and they're probably not. The broader market, I believe, is going to continue lower. We may bounce around a little bit here and there. But generally speaking, I think we're in a recession. And I think we're just in the early stages of it. It's just going to get worse. And because of that, the stock market is going to sell off even more. Given that, all those people who have taken a hit, they're going to be hungry. Make sure you check out my video programs I've got uh, up on my website. Thanks for uh, like and follow and all the comments. I'll see you in the next video.